Hello peeps, Dragon here and I have a little quick tutorial for you guys. So if you want to have gimmicks like this one, keep spinning with the least amount of blocks required, then um, yeah, let's show how to do this. So um, that's the platform we are going to attach our gimmick. That's the thing up there too. So let's get into that. Um, hello? Hmm? There we go. So what we need is a rotation, rail rotation block, of course. So I pick just one, doesn't matter which direction, and then I'm just going to, you know, place that there. Now, to keep that thing spinning, you need, where is it? There, button, a button. Now, the thing with this button is it has to be put right next to that rotation block. Because as every uh, logic uh, module, um, also the button receives a signal whenever um, that thing has reached another state, right? Like, for example, you know, when rails, when something moves over rails and you have an, a, a module next to it, that module will get triggered as soon as something enters the rail. Same goes for those rotation blocks. Whenever they have finished a rotation, this button receives, like, gets a signal. Now the button gets a signal, puts that signal back into the rotation block, and the rotation block goes like, okay, yeah, I go for another round. Rinds and repeat, you know? Uh, yeah, that's basically the, the thingy here. So all we have to do now it's just a uh, flight mode and uh, get the docker there then and then go like blink and no blink blink there we go and we keep spinning <laughs> yeah that's it already <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy that's it, that's the entire thing. And as I said, if you are reloading this level, um, that thing most likely will be off. All you need to do is like activate it and yeah, stuff starts spinning again and will continue so pretty much endlessly. That's it, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you liked it. See you next time, bye guys.